Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. We covered the printing temperature pretty well in the overview of the material section. Uh, we are going to quickly go over it again real quick just for anything that was unclear or misunderstood. So the printing temperature, the first line you see here is going to be the printing temperature for the majority of the model. This is your target printing temperature, the temperature that you want to print at that you have established as the best for printing with that filament. The printing temperature initial layer, as I said, is going to allow you to set either a slightly higher or lower printing temperature for the first layer, depending on whether or not either of those things will help with the adhesion to the bed or adhesion to subsequent layers of filament. Now, you're more than welcome to leave it exactly the same as your printing temperature, which is what I do in 99% of all cases. The initial printing temperature is the temperature that your hot end is going to heat to before the print head makes any sort of move. So having that around your printing temperature, or at least basically the same as your printing temperature initial layer, will get it to heat and start printing pretty much immediately without heating to the initial printing temperature and then lowering to the print temp initial layer and then raising back up to the regular printing temperature. But there are reasons to use separate numbers. We don't really need to go over them here. We are simply explaining what these do. And basically, the final printing temperature is going to be the same as the initial layer, except for the top layer. And it will gradually increase from the initial layer to the print temperature as it's printing. And it will gradually decrease or increase to the final printing temperature through a few layers as it's reaching the top. It will not make a, a, a jump from the initial printing temperature to the printing temperature initial layer. It won't just start printing and then raise the temperature up. Um, so you want these to be pretty close to each other. They don't necessarily have to be, but it will save you a short amount of print time in the long run. So printing temperature in this case refers to the temperature you need to print your filament at and you will normally find that located either somewhere on the spool or the box that the filament came in and if you can't find it there refer to the manufacturer's website or any documentation that might have come with, with the filament but a good rule of thumb is that your PLA is going to print right around 200 degrees a PETG is going to print right between 230 and sometimes as high as 260 but generally 230 to 240 to 250, uh, 240 being a good starting temperature for PETG. And your ABS is also going to print pretty high as well with a good starting temperature of around 230. And there are several other higher temperature variants that do work with FDM machines as long as your machine can go that high. But you're going to want to set up separate profiles based on the material so that you can jump back and forth between printing ABS. PETG and PLA without having to come in here and adjust these settings constantly because you are going to change a couple of them depending on what you're printing and that is just the best way to get into a flow of not forgetting to change a setting back or changing the wrong setting or something like that. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.